Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the SIM 4 and SIM 7 versions of the MoFi 4500 4G LTE router. For those of you that don't know, the MoFi 4500 is a high performance cellular router that works with all the major carriers in North America and many others around the rest of the world. In my case, I'm using AT&T with the router on an unlimited plan for $20 a month. With that being said, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the setup that I use with the MoFi, and then we'll hop on the computer and run some speed tests with both routers and compare the results. But before I do, I would like to mention that I first found out about the MoFi from another YouTuber named Sealy Training. After you watch this video, I would highly suggest going to check out his videos if you haven't already, as he does have some very helpful information on the MoFi. I will leave some links to his videos in the description for you to check out later. Now we're just going to start with a side by side comparison showcasing the exterior of the two versions of the router. You can't really tell a difference until you check the bottoms as it shows the model information on the labels. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the setup that I use with the MoFi. I'm currently using an unlimited tablet plan with AT&T for $20 a month like I previously mentioned. When I originally signed up for the plan, I received a universal SIM card, which is kind of handy as you can just simply pop it into the MoFi, no problem. One more thing to mention before we go on the computer, I'm using an external Yagi antenna, which seems to improve the signal strength by about 10 decibels. It's a good idea to go with two external antennas if you live pretty far from the closest cell tower. In my case, I'm just using one, which is connected on the primary side of the router, and this seems to be good enough for me at the moment. Okay, I'm on my Windows 10 computer now. We're going to start with the SIM 7 version. I'm going to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi first. And then I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. And just a little side note, MoFi does not recommend using Google Chrome when accessing the router settings. Okay, and now we're at the login screen. I just want to briefly mention, as of the making of this video, the latest software version of the MoFi is 4.4.1. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in. The default password is admin. OK, and this is what the main page looks like. I'm going to go ahead and go to the MoFi internal modem. Then I'm going to go to check signal strength. And the router is currently on band 4, so what I'm going to do now is just go to the band scanner. And now we're at the band scanner, so I'm going to go ahead and start a scan. I'm going to speed this up here. And there we go. It looks like band 2, 4... 12, 14, and 66 are the only good options for me, as the ones with the star next to it represent a different carrier. And for those of you that don't know, the different bands represent different frequencies from the radio waves being transmitted from the cellular towers. So what I'm going to do now is lock the MoFi to each of those bands and check the signal strength and do a speed test. To do this, first we go to the band lock and then select band 2 from the drop down menu and then we'll click next and finish and this will reboot the router. I'm going to speed this up here. OK, and then we'll have to log into the router again. OK. 
Okay, and let's check the signal strength again. We're on band 2 at negative 107 decibels. So now let's run a speed test. I like to use Google Chrome for this. Okay, and it looks like there was an error when testing the upload speed. However, we did get a 1.76 megabit per second download speed. So I'm just going to say zero for the upload speed for this one. So what I'm going to do now is just go through and test each of the other bands. Don't worry, I will speed this up here and we can compare the results after. Okay, so now looking at the results here, it seems that band 12 had the best signal. However, band 14 had the best download speed at 4.33 megabits per second. Now, just looking at all the bands here, uh, those speed tests are pretty poor. Download speeds, those are pretty low, and the upload speeds, those are little to none. So I guess let's see how the Sim 4 version compares. Okay, so I'm going to do the same process here with the Sim 4. I'm first going to connect to the Wi-Fi. And then log in to the router. And the main page is slightly different on the SIM 4. I'm going to do a signal strength check. And it looks like we're on band 4 at negative 99 decibels. So now let's go ahead and do a band scan. Okay, and it looks like the best options are band 2, 4, 12, 25, and 26. I believe band 5 and band 13 are with a different carrier. So I'm going to go to the band lock and lock it to band 2 first. Okay, and I'll let the router reboot and then we'll log back in. And we'll check the signal strength again. Okay, we're on band 2 at negative 92 decibels. So now let's go and do a speed test. Wow, that is a significant improvement to what we had with band 2 on the Sim 7 version. Now let's go ahead and do the other bands. Again, I'm going to speed this up here.
man, look at those results. Much better than what we had with the Sim 7. Again, Band 12 had the best signal strength. However, Band 4 had the worst signal strength, but the best download and upload speed. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the test results. Now, you may be thinking, what explains the difference between the Sim 7 and Sim 4? Well, so am I. I'm not 100% sure why the speeds on the Sim 7 were so low. I was thinking that the carrier aggregation feature on the Sim 4 would explain this. However, when I did the signal strength checks, it displayed carrier aggregation not assigned. And for those of you that don't know, the carrier aggregation feature on the MoFi works by combining two bands at the same time for the purpose of achieving a faster speed. I believe the carrier aggregation feature is disabled when the MoFi is locked to a band. So I'm still not exactly sure what explains the speed differences between the Sim 4 and Sim 7. And another thing to mention is that I did do some tests prior to this video using an Ethernet cable and the results were about the same when compared to the tests over Wi-Fi. Now I've noticed that I have been using Band 4 most of the time with the Sim 4 of course as it does have the higher speeds averaging from 20 to 40 megabit per second download and 10 to 20 megabit per second upload. Now if you are planning to use AT&T with the MoFi I would highly suggest going with the Sim 4 model as from my experience it is the better one of the two. Now I can't speak for any of the other carriers since I've only used AT&T but please post your own experiences with either of the two routers in the comments. I'd like to hear them. Well, I think this pretty much wraps it up for the video. If you guys have any questions and such, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Anyways, thanks for watching and do consider subscribing as I may post some more MoFi videos in the future.